Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. So as we head into a brand new season of Yellow Texas, we're taking you through some of our top picks for distilleries over the past year. And up next, we make our way to Denison to check out a place that's been making quite a name for itself in the world of whiskey. So get ready y'all, because we're on our way to Iron Root Republic. For a small town, Denison has a reputation for being the starting point of some pretty incredible success stories. Which brings us to Iron Root Republic Distillery to check out the latest success story out here in Denison. And they're actually getting so big that they won Whiskey Magazine's award for best corn whiskey in the entire world. So yeah, you gotta check it out. Let's go. me a better idea of what I was looking at, I met up with one of the owners, Jonathan, here at Iron Root Republic. Let me show you around. Yeah. Neat space. All right, Jonathan, before we get into the whiskeys, I do have to ask, how did the whole idea of Iron Root come about? Well, it started first when we wandered into a distillery in Spokane, Washington. Figured out that you could make your own whiskey legally um, and just fell in love with the process. We're about to take a tour, uh, but what else are we gonna be doing here today? We're gonna, we're gonna do the tour. Um, hopefully we're gonna crack into some barrels and see what's inside on those. Maybe uh, check some proof on some things, do a couple other things too. All right, I like the sounds of that. You ready uh, to go? Absolutely. All right. All right, so this is where the process first starts, which is with the grain. So what we have here is 1,300 pounds of milled corn. This looks like sand, but it's actually corn, huh? That's a lot of corn. <laughs> cool. All right, so all the grains that we just had, that we just saw in back are going to actually end up in this tank first. All so right. This is going to be called our mash tank. From mashing to fermentation and to distilling, these guys, they really know their stuff. So much so, they had an interesting take into naming their still. This one's called Jim Bowie. Okay. That's because this one comes from Vendome Copper and Brass in, in Kentucky, and so hopefully it's going to die in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, that's so, good. Yeah. And next, it was off to the barrel room to give it all a try. Right now we have uh, well over 400 barrels back here. Wowzers. So <laughs> today we're going to show you some of our favorites. I'm going to go ahead and take, take this bung off here for you. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead and pull some out. You don't mind? Absolutely. Okay. So just hand Put, here. Mm -hmm. And then just ease it right out. Oh shoot, look at that y'all. If there's bubbles, is that okay? Oh, you're perfect. Okay. Just keep going and I will catch. That was the best first time I've ever seen. Seriously? Yep, there awesome. you go. Perfect yeah. pour. I'm just gonna leave it there. That'll here be great. Go. Cheers y'all. Granger. Woo. That is whiskey. <laughs> it's pretty rare when you can say you've had the best in the world of something, but that one little sip made the whole trip worth it. All right, that's gonna do it for us here at Iron Root Republic Distillery. If you're ever in the Denison area, make sure to check out their whiskeys, maybe have an old fashioned. Thank you so much to Jonathan for having us out, showing us around. In the meantime, we're just gonna have a drink, call it a day. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Want to learn more about Iron Root Republic and their line of whiskey and spirits? Visit ironrootrepublic.com.